Hello, this is Brad Zanders from the Subside Electronics Product Support Group. And over the next few minutes, I want to talk to you about radio communications. And when I refer to radio communications, I'm talking about communication from the tracker to your display on the drill. It's a common call we get in product support that, hey, my radios aren't talking. I'm not getting any information back on the remote display. And a lot of the time, it's just a simple key press that you can do through the menus on both trackers and displays to correct it. So that's what I'm going to walk you through here first on the TK tracker that's here in front of you. A couple things I'll point out, and if you notice, the radio status bars here typically are always filled in. And then just next to that, to the right, is what current channel our radios are set to. So, and when I actually talk about radios, I'm not talking about Bluetooth radios. We do have Bluetooth radios in the trackers that we can uh, connect and configure beacons with. We actually have long range radios inside uh, that talk back and forth to the display. So first of all, if I want to double check or change this radio channel here, I just sent, simply hit the menu button, scroll down to wireless. The couple things you want to check here, number one is the telemetry and then I'll have you check the channel. First of all, in telemetry, if it's highlighted, select it. You always want to make sure the radio or the tracker is set to long range. If for any reason it's set to off, obviously your radio is not going to communicate back um, to the remote display on the drill. So make sure it's highlighted and then select it. I always have people go in and double check and select it. Should go back here. Next thing is check channel. Scroll down to channel. It's on channel one. If I wanted to go to channel two, I just hit the up arrow and then again you want to be sure you select it because if you don't it'll default back to the previous channel so it's important that you actually go ahead and select it. Another thing I'll point out about channel another common call I get is hey I'm on channel one and I've tried channel two and my tracker and display still aren't communicating. A lot of times if you'll go all the way to the other end of the channel spectrum if you will you can go up to 14 Yep, there's 14 channels. If you'll select channel 14 on the tracker and on the display, a lot of times your radios will go ahead and start communicating and they'll work fine. So make sure you're there, select again, and then you're ready to go check your remote display. Telemetry set to long range. So now let's look at the remote display. Okay, so now we're here on the display. This is a TD, and the process is the same whether you have a TD or a TDR remote. If you look here on the bottom menu bar, again, there's your radio status icon showing you that the radio's on, should be communicating. Uh, there's channel one. So if you wanted to change anything, you just go into the menu, go down to wireless again, select. Telemetry, let's look at that. Uh, you'll notice the only thing you see different in here other than long range is 8500. If you were to select that, you would be using this remote display with one of our 8500 trackers. So it's going to be on long range. So again, anytime you change it here, you want to select it again. Then you're going to scroll down to channel, select that, double check your channels here. Now it's, it's critical, it's imperative that you have the channels matched on the remote display or the TD and the tracker. So if you're on channel one on your display, you want to be on channel one on the tracker. Again, if you change that channel, you want to select it. So make sure you always double check that. We'll go back to the main screen here. Okay, one more issue that we've seen that will make a tracker and display not communicate is, is software versions of the units. And the quickest way you can tell what version of software is in your tracker or display is through the menu system. If you push the menu button, go into system, go into about, and this path is the same whether you're looking on a tracker or a display, but the fourth line down it shows the version of software. Version 13 is the most current software that's available today and as long as the trackers and displays software versions are matched, they should work fine. Now, anything version 9 and below will work fine together, trackers or displays. Anything 10 and above will work fine together. 
but if you have a, a mixed version like a 9 with a 10, they will not communicate. So it's a simple case of needing to update the software in the unit necessary. So that's another case we've seen calls about units not communicating. So hopefully you've learned a little bit about how to match telemetry uh, radio channels and verify the software is current and up to date to where they will communicate together.